What do I have to do to get some more coffee around here? Find your enlightenment. You know about this? Yes. You're not going to do anything about it? You know I can't. Well, I'm certainly not just going to sit here and let this happen. You can't leave. You're not ascended yet. You walk through that door, you're choosing the alternative. You're saying I'll be dead? Pretty much. OK, ascend me. It doesn't mean you'll be able to help your friends. You know the rules. Yes, but once I'm ascended, I can choose to take human form again, just like last time. Technically, yes. But you can't take that paper with you. You won't have any of the knowledge that you've gained here. And good luck ever ascending again. I'm certainly not going to help you a third time. Hey. Hey. Daniel. How's it going? Do we know each other? I feel like I know you. you call me Jim. We ran into each other last time you were ascended. Ah. Nice to meet you again. Still haven't made up your mind, huh? Death or everlasting enlightenment? Don't really see the choice myself. Yeah, of course I don't want to be dead. It's just that, uh... <sighs> Listen, the reason I came over here was to ask you... Why are you talking to me? Oh, you mean because these other snobs won't even look at you? Uh, yeah. yeah. I'm different. Like Oma. Really? Because I, I kind of got the impression that you two don't quite see eye to eye. What? That little... <laughs> oh, that was nothing. We both operate somewhat outside the normal rules and regulations. Sometimes we disagree on how far outside we should go, that's all. Really? Yeah. As long as these other guys don't strike me down, I figure I'm okay. I just don't see how I can agree to stand by and let Anubis destroy every living thing in the entire galaxy. What do you know about Anubis? I know he's half ascended, whatever that means. There are many planes of existence between human existence and ascension. Basically, the others use their collective powers to keep him from affecting anything on a grand cosmic level. But it's okay for him to destroy an entire galaxy. It's okay for him to do anything he could have done back when he was a regular old Goa Uld. Okay, I see. What does this have to do with Oma? Goa Ulds are bad. Anubis is as bad as they come. And? And? And uh, ascension requires that somebody be pure of spirit. One must be good to the very core to achieve enlightenment. So how does someone like Anubis ascend? Now he's getting it. Oma helps people ascend, but she never helps somebody like Anubis. Maybe not on purpose. Well, you, you say he tricked her somehow? Rule number one. No lone ascended being shall help a lower ascend. Lowers are what we call humans and such. If you deserve to be here, you should be able to get here on your own. Oma helped Anubis ascend. Get out. Get out now. Well, look at the time. I've got to go, kid. Uh, business to attend to. Uh, it's nice talking to you. He tricked me. How? You couldn't tell? No. He must have found some old, ancient research on ascension. When he came to Kev, he knew what he was doing. When I realized the horrible mistake that I had made, I tried to undo it, but I couldn't. That's when the other stepped in. I don't understand. They only sent him halfway back. Why not all the way? It's complicated. Yeah, what isn't around here? They warned him. He wasn't allowed to use any knowledge or power unless he otherwise would have gained it as a go-out. Anubis can't be killed, not by you, not by me. <laughs> 